Hi, guys. Take a job before every interview. It's our thing. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rob, I'm Marissa from Philadelphia. Nice to meet you. I'm Patty. Hi. Patty and Brandon. Brandon. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Yep. You guys the winners? Yes. Who's the winners? Me and my fiance. Okay. Congratulations. Where Thank you. Is When's the wedding? Yeah. When's the big day? June 18, 2011. June 18. Uh, June 18. That's not good for me. Um, um, what day are you free? Yeah. Uh, I'm free. Well, the June's just bad. Okay. How about July? June's, I got a lot of weddings I'm going to. In June. July's <gasps> good. You, July's how do you pick a wedding date? Well, it's the day we got engaged. It's the day we got engaged, so. That is as sweet as the day is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we made Craig cry. How can you go? Oh, hey, 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 buddy. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, I'm you so okay? Sorry. <laughs> okay? No, Have some no. melon. Have a little melon. <laughs> Take it down to Melon Town. Have some junk for the melon. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going by all the radio stations? What's happening? Sorry. Well, I have some questions or something. I'll have some time. I was just let you guys do the whole interview. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably much more funnier than anything else. Then. This is like this is like watching the movie again. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's for awesome. free. What are the health benefits of melon? What? What are the health benefits? Melon is very good for you. Wow. Antioxidants. Is it fruit? Huh? Is natural fruit? They do good stuff for you. No. Than, like uh, bad stuff. Corn syrup. Is this delicious? Yeah, it's <laughs> not bad. I've been eating them for years. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of years. Thousands. This isn't new. No. 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 This has been out before. All of that stuff. You can get, you get this like on the shelves. Yes. A supermarket or whatever. Farm or whatever. <laughs> whatever. Produce junction. You want me. Whole Foods. You're crazy. Okay. <laughs> so, so the Hot Tub Time Machine, machine. <laughs> opens March 26. 26. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank the movie's you. hilarious. Thank you very much. Yeah, very sweet. Um, can you guys tell us a little bit? It is a sweet film, isn't it? It's a sweet, 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 funny, cute. Now, do you think that it's something that the ladies would enjoy? I Hot Tub Time it. Machine. I you liked it. it. Yeah. You loved it. I loved that. That was great. Yeah. I mean, so, if, you, if you have any sense of humor whatsoever, yeah. you're going to love it. Okay, good. There's no question. So then, yes. So then all the ladies should go that. see it, right? Yeah. We're trying to get the ladies there. Well, oh, single man! Oh, single man! Yeah. Look at all the man meters in it. Half of them go just to see that. By the way, did they tell you? No questions about Rob's ass. Yeah. Ooh, why not? Yeah. He's just very, and I, I, you should, we should have told you before, he's a very, very violent when it, does anybody mention it? It's ironic because as soon as we walked in, he was just telling us about his ass. <laughs> and he was jumpy punk. Yeah. Outside the microphone. Oh, okay. On the microphone? Yeah. It's on. My, I just don't want my ass to blow up before I do. You know, like my ass he's is a poised. He's <laughs> my ass is poised to become a huge star. He's a little jealous of and his ass, and rightly so because his ass is frankly, you know, way better personality. I've worked harder though than my ass. I, I would. I don't know. I don't know. Your ass. He he would go home. And go to sleep, and his ass was still on set. Yeah. Studying lines, you know what I mean? So it was. At studying lines meaning cocaine. Oh. That's my ass has a big coke problem. We had, we had a fun. It was a good time. We, and that was part of the work. You had to bond. So, hot tub time machine. So, hot tub time machine. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys tell us about your characters? Um, I play a character named Nick. <laughs> last name? Oh. Uh, uh, yes, Grudgeman. Um, <laughs> I play Nick, and he um, he's like this. He's whipped like by his wife. He's giving up all his dreams so he can be married because he's in love with this lady, and he thinks his wife has. He finds out his wife has cheated on him, and <coughs> um, so when he goes back in the past, he realizes who. <coughs> he realizes who he was, and he goes. He wants to reclaim a lot of that being a musician and, you know, uh, being a man in the family. There's lots of singing in it to rekindle that musician dream. Yes. Yes, he got to go back and do a gig that he did, and he was, uh, as uh, Lou puts it in the movie, wildly, wildly mediocre. <laughs> and then he goes up the and he gets the rocket. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Which, by the way, the songs are oh, available on the soundtrack. You guys haven't seen the soundtrack no. yet either, have you? No. It has uh, uh, Craig singing Jesse's Girl. And uh, Black Eyed Peas. So I was, I was the telling Lizzie and cover of any soundtrack <laughs> ever made. I was, I was telling the girls that we'll, uh, we'll hook you guys up with the CD. All right, good. Yeah, Thank you. You. By the way, <laughs> I've never been on a CD or a movie poster, 
and I finally get one. That's pretty cool. These kids, it's their first thing they've ever done. Yeah. And they're all over. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Uh, well, Rob, can you tell us a little bit about your character? I play Lou. He's a suicidal uh, uh, alcoholic. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That'll drag anyone's feeders. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Run, don't walk. <laughs> uh, well, you guys were at Mardi Gras a couple weeks ago, were you yeah. not? Yeah, oh yeah. Was that a ton of fun? It was just ridic- kind of ridiculous. It was amazing. Yeah. And Mike, I think it's the most fun I've ever had. Yeah. Like, being up on that float, it was one of my most fun I've ever had. And throwing bees and throwing stuff, and I think it's all the attention. That was fantastic. Did you get lots of boobs? I got some no. couple, not yeah. a lot, none. Well, I don't know if people know because uh, Mardi Gras actually, like during the day, it's very family oriented. And so, did, were there a lot of kids? Because we it looked like there were a lot of kids, yeah, the kids. Okay. But um, there were definitely. I, I saw one pair of boobs. Wow. Did you do Bourbon Street at night? Mm. Didn't. No. I did it Bourbon Street little, at like ten thirty. It was a little crazy. It was like way crazy. And I wasn't, you know, I wasn't inebriated. I did, I did Bourbon Street at 10.30 a.m. on a Sunday, and it was pretty much like it was 2 a.m. on a Friday. <laughs> like, the Bourbon Street doesn't uh, change. Willie Mae Scotch, Scotch House. Willie Mae Scotch House. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken place. Chicken place. Okay. Okay, I'm going back in a few months. I'll bring in a few pictures. Really? Yeah, I went for jazz fest last year. Kind of fun. Nice. Yeah. I want to go through that. Great time. Yeah. Great time. And it ends at like 8 o'clock at night, so you get to do all of Bourbon Street that night. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Bourbon Street just happens with uh, the tourists. You just kind of make it a party yourself. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I did it pretty big last year. I was there for two weeks shooting this movie with Kevin Spacey and uh, just acted. I mean, I, I had like six days off of those two weeks, and all I wanted to do was, okay, just make it back to the plane a lot. Make it back to LAX a lot. So, Rob, what do you thoughts of the soundtrack? It's the first time you're gonna take a look at it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, and it's a pretty good soundtrack too, actually. There's not, you know, good little songs. Some good songs on there. Oh, I see a familiar name on there. Oh wait, Jesse's girl, sung by Craig Robinson. Can you give us a little bit? <coughs> Jesse is a friend. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I know he's been a good friend of mine. Do, 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 do. Lately something's changed, it ain't hard to define Just has got himself a girl and I wanna make her mine Cause she's watching him with those eyes And she's loving him with that body, I just know it yes, And he's holding her in his arms late, late at night You know I wish that I had Jesse! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. I thought everyone was going for it! Yeah. <laughs> Well, Craig, I have to answer real quick. Uh, so the last time you were in studio with us, you come in a couple times and you played helium, um, there was a slightly inebriated girl named Kendra who gave, Kendra. <laughs> who gave you her number. Did you call her? Did she? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the young lady in the Santa Claus? I believe so. Hot Santa, one of the hot Santa Claus girls. Kendra, uh, turns out she's very nice. And uh, there's a real drinking problem. Rob, <laughs> <laughs> I wish you had seen this girl that morning. It was like seven o'clock in the morning when she was hammered. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen her since. Yeah. Oh, uh, happens a lot on the show. Uh, Great hot show. Girls. Hot girls come in. Yes, drunk. Hot girls. And sure. hot girls come in every time Craig's in there. Yeah. All right, well, I'm getting the wrap up. Um, I just have to ask one favor of you, Rob. Yes. Well, we started on one, but can you end with a poop joke? Um. Uh, God, there's so many good ones, right? Um, uh, apparently not. I got nothing. Um, poo poo. What did the poop go ahead? What did the poop say to the toilet? What? I'm going in you. That's not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. No, the, what did the poop say to the it's toilet? It's poorly constructed. I'm best. No, no, it was, it was a joke because it's poop talking to a toilet. No, 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 I got that. First of all, that's the absurdity. That's it's really just absurd. It's poop not can't that's, talk. That's joke really, per se. Yeah, that's a well, poop can talk. Feces. I, I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Um, yeah. That's you know. a joke. No, there's a joke. Wait, what is it? Feces. I don't even. Feces. I don't even know. Ease. Yes. See, now that was that that's was a, came a, in the a back good joke. So you see how I supported yeah. you? Yeah. You did your joke when I said, "Bam, good." Yeah. <laughs> And I threw you under the bus. Yeah, under the bus. I got rolled over. Boom, boom.
Well, thank you guys. All These right. were the last interview of a long day of interviews, I'm sure. They're just right. getting started for you guys. So, um, it was yeah. a pleasure. Thank you. Say what's up to my crew back over there. I will most definitely.